Mashed potatoes are the quintessential American side dish. I mean, hey, what's not to love about them? They are creamy, they're savory, and they're loaded with all types of things that make them taste really delicious. Well, today, I'm gonna show you a few of my secrets for making them taste just that much more amazing. We'll start by boiling the potatoes in cold water. The key, a garlic clove or two, will add amazing flavor to your finished product. Then, there is a process. We'll mash the potatoes first before we load them with half and half, room temperature European butter, kosher salt, white pepper, and then my secret flavor weapon is mascarpone cheese. The finished product will be a side dish that you'll serve on your family table over and over again. And of course, everything we do, you know, it's gotta be simple, delicious, easy, and just good food. So let's get started. Let me show you what I've got. I've got these amazing little small baby Dutch yellow potatoes, right, that I'm gonna use. Now you could use uh, a baby Dutch, you could use a Yukon Gold. If, you could even use like, you know, sort of an, a, an Idaho, like a russet potato. But I love these because they're super rich and they've got a really great buttery flavor. So I'm just gonna come in here and grab the potatoes. Now, what I love about these, are, these are little guys. Guys, right these potatoes are great so these could literally just go in here whole right so I'm just gonna drop the potatoes in if there's a large potato like this guy is pretty large right so I'll take this guy and just cut him in half that way it cooks a little quicker but look at that flash look how buttery and delicious that's gonna be all right so potatoes I'm gonna drop right into the pot just like this and the idea is we're gonna start these potatoes off with cold water, that way they cook super evenly right in our pot. So now that I've got my potatoes, right, they're in the pot, I've got them full of, of nice cold water, I'm gonna get the potatoes right on the stove and get the water boiling. I love mashed potatoes. And one of the things I love about mashed potatoes is trying to find different ways to sneak flavor into the actual potato. So I do that by adding a couple of garlic cloves right into the water. I think flavoring the water is a key component to making really, really good mashed potatoes because whatever's in the water is gonna get absorbed by the potato. So the golden rule is if there's no flavor in the water, there's gonna be no flavor in the potato. So what I do is I take a couple of garlic cloves and I throw those right into the water as the potatoes start to boil. I think garlic and potato go hand in hand. And let me tell you, I have never met a potato that couldn't use a little garlic. Let me just tell you, growing up, I had some really great memories. You know, I get inspiration from all over the place and my grandmother was like the supreme being on everything related to mashed potatoes. And it wasn't that her potatoes were super complicated or difficult to get into. They just were good every single time she made them. And I think what really made them stand out and what really made them amazing for me was uh, what they went with, you know? So she would make mashed potatoes probably once a week, right? But she'd make it with like smothered chicken or she'd make it with meatloaf with the red sauce on top. We were, we were a red sauce meatloaf people growing up, okay? Every once in a while we had the gravy, but for us it was the sweet red sauce on top. Um, you know, I remember, you know, instead of rice, we would have like smothered cube steak and mashed potatoes. And uh, my grandmother was very simple, just the potatoes, lots of butter, really good whole milk, and um, lots of really good black pepper. So whenever I make this kind of recipe, it takes me way back to the happy place in my childhood where we would have, you know, mashed potatoes probably every Tuesday of the year because they were just simple to whip up. Um, now listen, you know, my grandmother was the supreme being. These are good, but I don't think, even if I tried, I could make the potatoes the exact same way she made them. Don't worry though, try this recipe. It's definitely a close second. <laughs> All right, so our potatoes have boiled. I think it's time to go ahead and let's give them a drain. Let's drain them in the sink. One of my one of my tricks is to put the potatoes right back into the hot pot. And that'll help get rid of some of the extra water. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a potato masher 
And I'm just really gonna get in here and mash the potatoes really well. This is step number one, all right? You wanna make sure you mash the potatoes first because it's a lot easier to mash them before we add in all the good stuff to the potatoes, all right? So we're gonna mash, 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 and this is exactly what we're gonna go for, all right? Gonna knock out the excess. I've got some room temperature European butter I'm gonna toss right in. Now, potatoes need lots of good butter, and what I love about this European butter is it's super creamy, and it's gonna give us a really great velvety mouthfeel and texture with our potatoes, all right? Potatoes do need some salt, so let's go ahead and drop in kosher salt, just like that, into our potatoes, all right? Nice bit of salt. One thing you don't need is an under-seasoned potato. All right, now while we're at it, my grandmother used to use black pepper, but I'm gonna use some white pepper in here. So I'm just gonna put in a fair amount of white pepper that's gonna give us a nice floral element to our potatoes, all right? I'm gonna give this a stir. Mmm, that's starting to come together really nicely. Hold on, we're not done. All right, I promised you a key ingredient and I'm gonna come through, all right? This is mascarpone cheese. Now I'm adding this in cold because what's gonna happen is that the heat of the potatoes is gonna melt the mascarpone cheese and make it super creamy with our potatoes, all right? So if you give this a stir, this will be the, the sort of litmus test to let you know just how much half and half you wanna add, all right? So we've got the butter, we've got the salt, We've got that white pepper, all right, and that super creamy mascarpone cheese. Let's add in that half and half now. All right, a little half and half right in here. Look at that. All right, super creamy and delicious. Let's give this a stir. Oh yeah, see how that all comes together? Which is the reason why it's so much easier to do this now and add the liquid in the potatoes once you've mashed them. If this was the other way around, it would be so difficult to do this, all right? And there you have it, look at that. A simple, super delicious pot of mashed potatoes. Let's serve these up, let me grab a bowl. All right, and let's put some potatoes right into our bowl. Look at this. Super creamy, super decadent. Mascarpone whipped mashed potatoes. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. All right, and the key, remember, is gonna be that European butter is really, really key here. All right, and speaking of European butter, let's go ahead and let's add a little bit of European butter right on top, just so that we know, hey, mashed potatoes were here, okay? <laughs> let's put a fork in here and I think it's time to taste. I mean, you know, somebody has to do it. All right, here we go. Mm. 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 Talk about creamy. The creamy mascarpone comes through. Mm. Savory, just the right amount of salt. Mm. This really takes me back to a really great place in my childhood where it seems like we had mashed potatoes almost every Tuesday. You can do this, I know you can, all right? Recipes like this are only available in two places. The first is my amazing cookbook. It's called Stories from My Grandmother's Kitchen. You can order it today on my website. The other place you can find recipes like this is actually on my website. It's www.dariuscooks.com. Listen, two things I wanna tell you as I always do. Food is my life, and life, it's my food. Until next time, I gotta wish you happy cooking from my heart to yours. Mmm. Mmm.